What's good everybody? Today I'm going to be answering a question that a lot of you guys have asked and that is how did I get FL Studio on my Mac? It's magic. But seriously, I got FL Studio for my PC. When I went to the site and purchased it, I noticed that they had another offer for me and it showed that I can get FL Studio for my Mac. It is called the alpha version, but it's actually the beta version for Mac. So it's currently in testing. They're getting a lot of user feedback to try to get the program ready for it to be really stable on the Mac, which is very stable right now, but it's a few little things that's just not right with it. Either way, today we're going to dive into it. I'm going to make a quick really simple beat in it i'm gonna do some eq some compression with this version they just released the latest version in april that is compatible with uh sierra some of the plugins are not working yet i might not be using some of the plugins you guys might be familiar with it's still fairly good it's about 60 percent ready to go they got a few more things to do it's working pretty good let's dive in to the beat and the eqing and all that good stuff and then i'll see you guys after that Okay, okay, I got my FL Studio Alpha pulled up. Now I'm gonna warn you, there's gonna be a few glitches in the program, so if if something looks weird, it probably is weird because they're still working out a few little technical difficulties that go on with doing a beta version. So um, I already have everything in my piano uh, roll right here. Um, and I already have my sounds already picked out. I got a piano, I got a fl flute, and I got a few other uh, uh, drum sounds in here that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and make the beat, and I'll just kind of describe what I'm doing as I'm going. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the piano here. Let me on the record button. Let me do my countdown before recording. And uh, I like to use my MIDI keyboard when I'm making beats. It's just much faster for me. So let's get started. Okay, so now let me go ahead and I want to quantize it. It's two ways you can quantize it. It could be um, Command Q or Option Q. Command Q uh, snaps it right into place. Option Q, you can kind of pick what you want to do. So I'm going to use Option Q for this. So it pulls up that. Um, half beat, which I do is I go in here. Um, I go into quant quantization and I go down here to snap. I do half beat, click on that, have everything turned up, sensitivity, time, all that's turned all the way up to the max, and I press accept. Okay, so now it should be quantized. Cool, like how that sounds. I'm actually gonna copy this so I can have Oops, let me go ahead and put this on here. Make sure you put this on so you can snap it to the line when you're moving things. So let me take this and scoot that over right there so I can have eight bars of that. And next I'm gonna do my flute. Kinda like that, so let's add that. Let's quantize that. And I do have ghost notes turned on. Um, so you can see the other notes in there right up here. So I'm going to quantize that. All right. So next, I'm going to add my clap in there. find that and let me quantize that and what I like to do is I like to leave the end time right there so the notes would be exactly when I released them so let me accept that all 
and I believe I have a limiter on here. I have the limit on here uh, strictly for video purposes because I don't want the audio to be too loud. Next thing it'll be peaking, distortion, and we'll just be all bad. But I usually don't use the fruity limiter. I use um, ozone for my limiter, but we're going to use this for today. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a hi-hat. We're trying to have a hi-hat pulled here, in here. I kind of like that key right there. So we're going to take it, and how I do my hi-hats, I just stretch it out, and I just kind of create as I go. So I stretch it out, and if I want to kind of fine-tune it, I hold Option while I'm stretching on my mouse. Hold Option to do that. If not, it's going to be kind of like that. So I stretch it out, hold option on the Mac or alt and then what I do is I press option a to get into the um, arpeggiator and right now this is how it sounds like sounds pretty cool but let me put a couple little rolls in there so I'm gonna take this one to a um, to select uh, around something like this, you gotta press uh, command while you're moving the mouse. So let me make sure I got the right one. Which acts like I need this one. And I'm gonna press uh, option A again. When now this is where we have a problem. When I do that, it freezes up on me. So what I usually have to do is, I have to go back in here and then do that again and then press option a again <laughs> just for that to pull up so it still has a lot of bugs in here but i found a little workaround so let me pull this time back and put that there so and what i'm gonna do with these just to make it really easy is i'm just going to move these into certain spots that i like and I'm gonna just keep it real simple. So let me just go ahead and just uh, delete these parts. And I'm actually trying to press delete, but of course it still has a few kinks in it. So when I press um, the function and delete, it's supposed to delete, but it still has a few bugs that has to be fixed. But you know, it's a workaround around it. So let me move this like that and copy that there. So now we have this. Let me add another snare in there, just like a little fill snare. All right, let me quantize that. All right, last but not least, let's put our bass in there. And let me go into here and select cut itself so that it won't bleed over into the next bass when I hit it. Alright, so let's go ahead and put that in there. simple bass run I'm going to quantize that and let's see how that sounds all right let me let me add something there because it's just very simple All right, now that we got the beat, now let's go ahead and mix this beat. Um, well, first let's assign all of the tracks to the mixer. Um, what I do is I double click on all those right there, make sure all those are highlighted. Then I actually go to the mixer, go on the first insert, and I press Command Shift L. And it takes all of the tracks and the names to the own respective uh, channel on the mixer. So now we can play that out. Thank you. 
and uh basically we're we're almost done so what i do is um i just a few of the sounds i like to go in and kind of eq because if you can't hear it you don't need it so let me go ahead and solo that out i press command and i click on it to solo it out like the clap i use the eq2 all right and what i like to do is if i don't need it i take it out too much sounds good there done Same thing for this. I cut a little bit more on there. I like how that sounds. Same thing for this. It's pretty deep. Okay, about 127. Good cut. And then the piano. I want that to sound a little skinnier. I like how that sounds. And then for the flute. Okay, cool. Now with this, let me add a little bit of reverb. Let's see if I can add a compressor on it too. Let me see. Ah, compressor doesn't work yet. So this is one of the fixes that they're gonna have to fix. Uh, the fruity compressor doesn't work yet. So we'll just find a work around that. And then what I'll do is, I think I already, uh, I didn't put another compressor in here yet. Um, that's cool. I'm not gonna need it right now. I'll do another video, like really mixing. So let me just change that to let's see if the reverb works. Reverb works. So let's go ahead and use that. Actually, we're using that on the piano. That's cool. So let's see how everything sounds. Let me go ahead and select all these. What I do is I press Command and I just go to the whatever track and I just drag it all the way over. Let's pull these down and let's see how everything sounds. Oops, my bad. Turn everything back on. Now, mind you, I do not use this limiter, but I'm going to use it today just because it's a stock plug in and everybody doesn't have ozone. So I'm just going to put a little limiter on there. And basically, this is it. That's how it works. that's pretty much it now we can go ahead and put this into song form how i do it it's a little bit different 
but that's a good thing about FL. Everybody has their way of doing it. There's an infinite amount of ways you can do it. I go ahead and throw the pattern in. I go to patterns. Or, uh, I go to patterns and I go to split by channel. And I click on the empty part of that. And then what I do is I just split everything like that so they can be on their own separate track. And then now I can just go in and, oops, sorry about that. I can go in and make the beat how I want to make it. So here we go. So let's see how everything turns out. Alright, that's pretty much it. Uh, I keep forgetting what version it is, but it's the newest version that came out in uh, April. And uh, as you can see, it has a few glitches in it, a few workarounds, but it's almost there. You can still make beats in it. Okay, there it is. As you can see, it's pretty stable. It's not bad. A few of the plugins don't work yet. Still has a few little glitches, but hey, they're getting it there. So, if you like this video, if you like what you've seen, please like, please subscribe, please comment, please ask me questions. Tell me what you want to see, and I will try to make a video for you. All right, take care.